Hello everyone, I am Parakeet God, I'm the community manager for Morbid Studios, and as you guys know, in the next update we are adding zone creation. So, when you guys first join into the game when the update releases, in the bottom left corner you will see the zone creation UI. If you click on it, you can see all of the zones that you have created, and if you don't have any, you can click on create new. Then that will add a zone here, in which case you can either test it or edit it. Since right now there is nothing here, we cannot test it, so let's go to the edit place. Once you are in the zone editor, you will see quite a bit of UI on your screen, and you will be able to fly around this camera as you please. The first thing you should open up is your settings. This will allow you to change your speed, sensitivity, and it will also allow you to change the speed when you hold shift. The last thing you have is game lighting. This turns on the lighting that you would normally see in Lost Rooms. You can turn this on and off. The next thing you will see is Zone. In here you can see all of your zone customization such as the name, the description, and the cover image for your zone. This is important when you go to actually publish your zone for anyone. Up next is your room customization. This is very important once you actually load in a room. So up here at the top of the screen you can see five different menus. Each of them corresponds to a different type of room in Lost Rooms. If we load in a normal Lost Rooms room for number one, you can see this. As you guys all know, this is the normal room for Lost Room Zone 1. Here we can get rid of it and add a new one. So we can go to number 2 or number 1 as we please. This will allow you to make as many different room variants as you want and the engine will load them in whenever it sees fit. So let's get rid of these and add number 1. So when you have a room loaded, you can go over here and let's say you want to change the texture of the wall. You may do that with the wall texture menu over here. We have added many, many textures for you guys to use. And this works with the floor and the ceiling as well. So you guys should have full customized ability for anything you would like. Up next is the light color. You can change the color of the lights in the room to be anything you want. So let's say we wanted it blue. We could do that. Now we can see what it looks like in game. This is what it would look like in game when you go to test it. So if we turn off the light, the game lighting actually, let's set it back to false. We can change the actual color of the walls. We can add like a little hue to it. It can be anything we want. We can do that with the floor and ceiling as well, as you can see. And then up next, we have the wall type. This is going to be really important to getting the zone to be however you like. So we have normal walls which is you know as you see here no walls which completely removes the walls from the room and no door which gives you the backroom style door in lost rooms for ceiling type we have open ceilings and normal ceilings that is all for that up next is probably the most important part of zone creation the toolbox so you can enable it and disable it down here and here you have all, every single asset from every zone in lost rooms as of now so you can click on it you can click on any asset and spawn it in then once you hold click over that you are able to move it around and rotate it as you please so if i press r we'll rotate it in the current direction that being the x axis by a rotation increment of 45 degrees to switch it to the y axis you can rotate it like this with the with moving your mouse you are able to position it wherever you would like and this gives you full creativity over each room that you like so Let's make a new room and edit right here. So as you can see, we have a new room. So let's start making a few things. Let's say we want a bush in here. You can place this over here in this corner. And look, would you look at that? It's beautiful. Let's say we want a oak log. We can place it here on the ground. And wow, look how beautiful it is. You can do this with any asset that we have in any of the pool, in any of the lost rooms so go ahead and go wild finally we have the explorer oh morbid it doesn't work god dang it all right so morbid has fixed the issue so no need to worry about that any longer so if you open the explorer this will allow you to see every item or asset that you have in your room so let's say we have a lot of items in here so we have a lot of rocks but let's say you don't want to go through and find each of the specific rocks and edit them. Or you know you have 
a plant somewhere, but you don't know where it is. You can look through the explorer and find the plant and select it. And that will instantly select it, highlighting it for you to see and move as you please and rotate. So you can click through all of these and do anything as you please. So that is the toolbox and explorer for you. And as you can see, you can load in any room that we have in Lost Rooms. L-shaped, cube, massive room. All of this is pretty much everything you'd need to create your own room. And now let's say, let's just make one room of each type and then we'll be able to test it. Alright guys, I am back and I have created two sample rooms for the game to load once we get in. But I also realized I forgot to mention just a few small things. When you select an asset, you can also press backspace to delete it. And you can also use control Z to undo any action that you did. So if you accidentally move something, you can undo it. That is one thing. So once you have your rooms, once you have your rooms made, you can simply leave the server and it will auto save your zone. So now let's leave and the final step is to test. All right. Now that we are back in the Roblox game, we may go to zone creation, click our zone, and then click test zone to test what we created. So let's go into here. So now that we are in our user created zone, you may look around and you can see that this is a fully blank room. That is because I did not change this room in the editor. So we may look around and find one of the rooms that we created. So the game will automatically generate within the map all of the rooms that you created in the editor. And you may use all of the items as you would normally and walk around and find all of the rooms that you created. So here's the monster room. And when I go into here, here's the other room I created. So what you do is you use the zone creator to create a zone that you would like and then just go in and test it. You guys will be able to publish your own zones and allow anyone to play on them and be rated by everyone else within the game. So we hope you guys enjoy this update and we will continue to add more features as they come.